Hi! For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the All-in-One SEO Pack for WordPress. All-in-One SEO is fantastic because it makes sure that you've got the best keywords for your site all in one place and it's easy to go through, change them, update them, and everything else you need. So let's go ahead into our plugins page on our dashboard. We're going to go up to plugins and add new and we're going to search all in one SEO and we're going to go down to all in one SEO pack and click on install now and then activate it. Now we're going to go to our admin page to enable and configure and we're going to scroll down. You can decide down here if you'd like to make a donation and you can enable the plugin status and then we're going to put in the home title which is WordPress Tutorial Hub and then our home description which is WordPress Tutorial Hub is a site built to demonstrate how to construct a WordPress blog. Next is our keywords. I'm going to put in WordPress comma and the, the comma is important because it's going to separate these terms. Tutorial hub. Then I'm going to put all of them together and then I'm just going to add a few more words that people may use to look me up say in Google or Yahoo. And this can be keywords, phrases, anything you think people will type in to find you. You can choose to put in canonical URLs if you want to rewrite the titles and then it's going to show you the post title formats that you can put right under here. Now if you're not sure how to change them, just leave them like they are. You can also do your 404 page title format and the 404 page is the page people are directed to when a website is missing. You can do SEO for custom post types and you can choose whether you want it to be for posts or pages or both. You can also put in a Google Plus profile site-wide default and I'm just going to put in WordPress Tutorial Hub for that. Then it's going to ask for my Google Analytics ID. So I'm going to go back to my Google Analytics page into my settings. I'm going to click on my WordPress Tutorial Hub. I'm going to go into Admin and into my tracking code that gives me my ID. I'm going to copy my tracking ID, put it into my Google Analytics ID box. Use cat and then you can choose whether you want to use categories for meta keywords, use tags, dynamically generate keywords for post pages, meaning that it's going to take out words that you use most often in your posts and it's going to generate keywords from that. So say if I was looking up how to do Google Analytics, if I had done a post with that mentioned Google Analytics a few times, it would pull that with this plugin and it will make Google Analytics one of my keywords. I can use a no index for categories and archives and tag ar archives. I can auto generate descriptions, capitalize category titles. I can choose any pages that I want to have excluded. If I want to put in additional post headers, I type them here. Additional page headers, put them here. And additional home headers, put them here. I can also log important events. Then I'm going to click on update options or you can reset all your settings to default. But I want to save what I did so I'm going to click on update options. Now when I scroll down I can see all of my keywords and everything else. If you want to change any of these all you have to do is go back into settings all in one SEO and then come down and change whatever you need to change and just make sure that you save it afterwards. So that's how we can use all in one SEO to help us get our site recognized more easily by search engines which will bring more people to your site and get your rankings higher. So thanks for listening and I'll see you at the next tutorial.